life, culture and current events from a biblical perspective. 2020 with Neil Johnson on Vision. You may have heard in our news that the winners of the Australian Christian Books of the Year Awards have been announced. The 2022 Australian Christian Book of the Year was written by Tony Renaudo, popularly known as The Forest Maker. Well, let's get an update on the awards with Michael Colley of Sparklit, the coordinators of the Australian Christian Literature Awards. Michael, a special welcome back to 2020. Thank you, Neil. Uh, Michael, uh, just over a week since the awards now, but uh, how do you describe the presentations on the night? Well, it was a uh, it was great to be uh, back in person, and uh, we had the first half of the event was in person only, and then the second hour was broadcast. And you can uh, on our website you can still see uh, the a recording of the, what was broadcast of the live stream. Um, and you'll see all the action, all the uh, uh, announcements of the awards uh, still um, there on on our YouTube channel. Well, many listeners have heard us talking about the Australian Christian Book of the Year for the last decade, and uh, we always talk about the quality of Australian writing. How impressed were you with the, the quality of all the shortlisters and then, of course, the winner? Well, uh, it's a, a strong year. Uh, there's all the shortlisted books um, are fabulous. Um, a range of genres, from biography to uh, theology and apologetics. Uh, and there's an illustrated book for children, actually not just for children. It's a, a very simple but deep and moving book that's adopted in love. But uh, yeah, it's a, it, and the authors on the night were all uh, very articulate as articulating in person as they are in writing. Well, let's talk about uh, the overall big prize winner, the 2022 Australian Christian Book of the Year, called The Forest Underground. Uh, what can you tell us about the author, Tony Renaudo? Well, one of the reasons why the book was chosen is that the, the book is uh, very much reflects the character of Tony, uh, who has a very um, humble and irresistible uh, character, and uh, the book is a warm and hopeful book. Uh, in fact, the judges uh, during the the, um, the judges uh, the final meeting when they chose the Christian Book of the Year, uh, when it came to Tony's book, they just uh, spontaneously grabbed it and hugged it to their chest. Uh, it was quite a moving um, moment during the deliberation, but uh, that was the way they expressed their opinion about the book it's it is it's a warm and hopeful book and that's unusual it's called the forest underground and uh, he's served in africa in the nation of niger does the story uh, reflect his serving in that nation yes the the majority of the book actually uh, relates his experiences in niger it begins as a his he recounts his childhood experience growing up in the Ovens Valley in Myrtleford in North East Victoria. Uh, his uh, grandparents were Italian migrants and they all worked in uh, the tobacco growing industry. Um, and from a young age, Tony was uh, appalled and infuriated by the way uh, we treat the environment. And uh, he, as a child, he prayed to God that um, God might use him somehow, somewhere to make a difference. And the story, the book is how God answered that prayer. And it's it's a breathtaking adventure. Well, listeners might want to jot that one down. It's the winner of the Sparklit Awards, the Australian Christian Book of the Year, The Forest Underground by Tony Renaudo. It's not the only award that was given on the night. Uh, take us into some of the others. There was the 2022 Young Australian Christian Writer Award. How was yeah, that, that was- one announced? Um, well, the, the awards are uh, announced by reading an extract from the winning work. So without identifying the winning, the winner or the winning work, uh, we have professional actors uh, reading out extracts from the, the winning works. Uh, in this case, we had a, re- a video recording of the author reading out one of her poems. So the Young Australian Christian Writer Award this year was won by Nicola Chadwick uh, for her collection of poems. And you can see Nicola... Uh, on our website, you'll be, you can see Nicola reading uh, a poem from the winning work, and it's pretty powerful stuff. 
And in each of these categories, uh, there are runners-up as well. Is it worth mentioning the runner-up in the 2022 Young Australian Christian Writer Award? Yes, that was uh, Stephanie Clough Clough for her uh, work, Yield. And uh, the uh, 2022 Australian Christian Teen Writer Award was uh, won by Rachel Board for her manuscript, To Be Like Him. And the second prize in the Australian Christian Teen Writer Award was won by Melinda Herman for her work uh, of War and God. Very mature and insightful writing by uh, young women in the teen category. And uh, honour to you, Michael, because uh, you've had these awards uh, for uh, young Christian writers and the Teen Christian Writer Award, obviously wanting to encourage people into a publishing career, an industry uh, where you can actually, uh, you know, be efficient and make an influential impact uh, by writing good works. And so uh, to those young award winners, uh, Rachel Board from Victoria, her story was called To Be Like Him. And uh, describing a young adolescent's journey through tragedy to relationship with God, uh, it must have been a moving book. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's it tells the story of a young uh, a young woman, um, Georgia, whose brother dies, and she tells how she wrestles with the grief at losing her brother, but also has to come to terms with. Uh, her brother's God. So George is not a Christian, but the brother was. The brother dies, and uh, the surviving sister has to grapple with uh, her brother, the the loss of her brother, but also what her b- brother believed in. Hence the the double meaning of the title of, to be like him. So it's the death of her brother actually provokes uh, a, a search for uh, for God. So it's yeah, it's a pretty. For a teenager, teenager, it's staggering, really. Now, the judges of the awards, uh, you had a wonderful panel of judges. What can you tell us about the the panel and uh, the way they approach actually making these awards? Well, this year we had uh, the three judges were our, our authors, and each of the judges has, in the past, written an Australian Christian Book of the Year. So it's the first time we've had three uh, authors uh, Christian Book of the Year authors uh, judged the awards. Uh, there was Stephen McAlpine from um, Western Australia and uh, Greg Clark and Natasha Moore uh, from New South Wales. Uh, so Natasha won the award in 2019 and, uh, sorry, 2020. Uh, and Stephen McAlpine won the award uh, last year. Um, so it was, uh, it was great having uh, I guess three insiders, people who have uh, uh, have experienced writing, have experienced uh, know what it takes to to write uh, a Christian book of the year, but also they they come from you know diverse backgrounds. Um, Greg Clark was CEO of the Bible Society for nine years. Uh, Natasha Morris with uh, CPX in uh, Sydney, and uh, Steve McAlpine has been a church planter and pastor for several years. He's now devotes himself to writing. So yeah, it was great uh, working with the three judges this year. Another uh, another award ceremony under your belt, no doubt. Uh, the preparations begin already for next year's awards. Uh, nominations, when will they open? Well, we've already, we already, we've already processed uh, several um, uh, entries for next year's awards. So uh, it's the awards gaining traction and uh, it's, we've, it's already attracted a number of entries for next year. Wonderful stuff. So just going through those award-winning books for listeners who might want to get a hold of those, The Forest Underground by Tony Renaudo won the 2022 Australian Christian Book of the Year Award. The 2022 Young Australian Christian Writer Award was Nicola Chadwick from New South Wales, her book called Breathe On Me, and the 2022 Australian Christian Teen Writer Award, Rachel Board and her story to be like him. To connect with the Sparklit organisation, Michael Colley leads Sparklit. The website is sparklit.org. Sparklit are the coordinators of the Australian Christian Literature Awards. Let me say, Michael, great to see you uh, with your hand to the plough and uh, honour to you for doing such great work with the awards and uh, look forward to catching up again next year. Well, it's a lot of fun and uh, thank you so much for your encouragement, Neil. 
Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.